All right there, YouTube. What's going on? This is Trevor here. We're going to go ahead and start up a new segment this week. It's going to be every week. Um, it's going to be called Trevor's Day in Music History. And how it's going to break down is every week or someone will a video talking about a music genre or a decade. Um, this week we're going to go ahead and do my favorite, which is going to be doo-wop and 50s decade music. Um, I don't have, you're going to notice on here I don't have much Elvis, and that's because I do love Elvis, but I think that he's classified as a king of rock and roll, which is not necessarily true. Although he did help found it, there are people like Chuck Berry and Buddy Holly who really helped put it on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and play some stuff, not personally because I'm too good the camera would break, but we're going to go ahead and play some good things here, um, we're going to see how this goes. Um, being in the 50s style genre, we're going to go ahead and play you some stuff off my classical looking radio. So here we go, we're going to kick it off with some good old Richie Valens, and here we go. I'm going to give you some facts along the way too, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put on is going to be That'll Be The Day, one of my favorite music artists of all time, and that's going to be Buddy Holly and the Crickets. A quick back for you about the Crickets, how they got their name. Of course, they're from Texas, which where all great bands are, I do believe, are formed. Anyway, a quick back about the Crickets here, is that they were actually, they got their name because they were in a garage, and Crickets kept chirping while they were recording their songs. They were a garage band, and that's how they got their name. Another quick fact about Richie Valens here that you might not have known is he was the one who did die in the plane crash with the Big Bopper and Buddy Holly, the three the day the music died, so to speak. Um, and a lot of people think that he wouldn't have been really kind of a one-hit wonder, or he would have had a lot. He would have been a really big legacy in music had he not died on that plane crash. We'll never know, but that's just another quick fact. Let's go ahead and play us some Buddy Holly in the Crickets. comments or want any of these songs emailed to you, please feel free to email me at tedrizzle.com. Um, 
Trudrizzle at AOL, or at Google or gmail.com actually. Um, um, here goes the next song. It's going to be a good Chuck Berry song. It's going to be one of his film, well, probably most distinguished song is going to be um, Johnny Be Good. We'll kick it off with that. <laughs> I make this video to talk about the 50s in a time of America. Um, the 50s are probably one of the most prosperous time in America. We had a booming economy. People seemed to be happy. Um, it was just a good time overall. There, yes, there was some hate going on between races and stuff, but we had a beautiful space race beginning. Uh, there was a cold war going on, but if you look at the whole of America, it was just a very wholesome time, I guess. You know, leave it to be for kind of family kind of going on. It was a majority of the time, of course, there was always bad things going on in America and the rest of the world, but you look back at it and you can say, well, this was a pretty happy time. We were pretty well happy. We ended a war. We were good. And um, music can really reflect that. It's kind of a really upbeat style of music. Really happy. Um, I didn't include a lot of slow songs on here, but I do want to recommend some other uh, musicians and bands for you. Definitely Nat King Cole. Um, also, uh, going to go ahead and have to give you Fats Domino. And, of course, of course, the Everly Brothers. One of the best, best sounding musicians in the world. So I'm going to leave y'all with that this week. Um, until next week, which we'll be doing, of course, the 60s, man. So until then, peace.